Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll integrate Spring Boot with Spring Batch. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So go to the Spring section. In Spring Boot. This is the tutorial that we are going to implement Spring Boot Batch Simple Example. Let us have a look at why we should use Spring Batch. Typical web applications, they have to work 24-7. For example, this website, it has to be up 24-7. But quite a few times, there are requirements that some job is to be run only once in a day. These jobs are usually data intensive uh, jobs. For example, in banking systems, we have that at the end of the day, some data is to be moved from one location to another or uh, other such uh, uh, data applications. So for this is where Spring Batch comes into picture. Often these steps they need to be chained together. For example, uh, re read it from a CSV, then process it and then write it. So all these three steps will then be chained together. This is possible using Spring Batch. Spring Boot Batch provides reusable functions that are essential in processing large volumes of records like transaction management, job processing statistics and other functions. Also the configurations that are required in Spring Batch implementation using Spring Boot is quite less as compared to previous implementations where a lot of XML had to be written. So we'll look at that. So this is how Spring Batch works. We have a job launcher which will launch the job. Then the job it uses the step. In step we provide the item reader, item processor and the item writer. So these all these steps they are chained together. The item reader it will read some data in chunks. Then the item processor will process it, and the same data then will be written uh, using the item writer. So we'll see how this is implemented using Spring Boot. This is the project that we are going to develop the Spring Boot uh, project structure. So let's begin with the implementation. Go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Next, we'll copy the dependencies. So these are the dependencies required. We'll just copy it. So the dependencies that we have used here are, since this is a web project, we have used the Spring Boot Starter Web. For batch processing, whatever are the dependencies, they are provided by the Spring Boot Starter Batch uh, dependency. Also, we are, we are using the H2 database. The Spring Batch it stores some of the metadata uh, in the database, so we'll require this database. And uh, also, we are using the Spring Boot Dev Tools because it provides a very simple UI for managing H2 database. Next, we'll implement the required classes. So, we'll first implement the item reader, then the item processor, then item writer, then this step then the job class and finally we will be defining the job launcher. So let's begin with the implementation. So here we have defined the reader class. So what this reader is going to do is uh, it uh, will take the data from a particular location and uh, pass it to the processor. Here we are going to read uh, data from the array of called as messages that we have defined here. Next, we'll define the processor class. So 
the processor class will convert the data that we have read from uh, using the reader to uppercase. And finally, we'll be implementing the writer class. We also define the job uh, completion listener. So what this does is that whenever our job is complete, the Spring Patch job, it will print us a message. So create this class. Next, we'll chain all the classes that we have created till now and uh, create the step and the job beans. So, we'll uh, do this using the batch config. So, we'll first create a bean of the type listener, the job listener class that we have created now. We'll create a bean of type step. Uh, so, what this bean does is that uh, we pass the instance of uh, the reader, processor and the writer to create this order step one bean so we are chaining the reader processor and the writer to create the order step so the first step would be to read then process and then write the data and finally we will be passing the instance of order step one uh, to be used in the process job to create the uh, job bean also uh, while creating the job bean we will be using the listener that we have created here uh, job completion listener. We'll create the batch config class now. Next, we'll define the controller class where we'll expose a REST API to invoke the job that we have just created. So, for uh, invoking the job, we'll use the job launcher class which has been provided by the Spring Patch framework. Finally, we'll create the Spring Batch application class. Uh, here, we'll be using the annotation Enable Batch Processing. So we are done with all the changes required. Run this as a Java application. Next we'll invoke the controller by calling the slash invoke job so that our job uh, launcher it will launch our job and our spring batch will get completed. So for this copy this URL. So here you can see that we are receiving the message that batch job has been invoked. So if we go here, we can see that uh, a batch job it has executed and also the listener it has shown that batch job completed successfully. If we go to this URL, localhost ATT slash h2 console login dot two, this is the h2 UI provided by Spring Boot Dev Tools. Click connect. So here we can see that these are the tables 
that are created by Spring Batch. Uh, the source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here. Hope you have understood this tutorial. Thank you.